Hey, Ash Um, I'm just gonna start out by saying it'll probably go off soon. Um, there's a smoke detector in the other bedroom on the ceiling that keeps beeping. It's really annoying and it's probably gonna keep happening during this video, but I have nothing, I can't do anything about it. Um, it's really annoying mostly, I think, because it's just not consistent that, if you heard that, um, it's just not consistent with how often it beeps, which I think is driving me the most crazy, because sometimes it won't beep for a few hours, uh, sometimes it'll beep every five minutes, sometimes it'll just beep every five seconds, like, it's really annoying, it's really high-pitched, and it's driving me nuts, but I finally put in a maintenance request thing for that to get fixed, so hopefully that'll happen in the near future, because it's gonna drive me nuts otherwise. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, my Yom Kippur wasn't too bad, actually. Um, last night I went to Chabad, um, I forgot, I think a lot of people told me, but I actually forgot that most of my friends, slash just people that I'll hang out with at Chabad, whatever, either went home or they ended up going to Penn. So I didn't really know anyone there. There weren't a ton of people, but the people that were there, I had no idea who they were, where they came from. They're, I don't know. Um, so that was kind of awkward. Um, yeah. So, but after services, which in my head, they always take like forever, but it really didn't take that long. It really wasn't that bad. Um... But yeah, so after that, it was like super early. It was like only 8 o'clock. And I didn't really feel like coming home because, um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I didn't really feel like coming home because it was like super early and <laughs> I feel like I would just come home and be really bored or just like go to sleep. But then I'd wake up at like 3 in the morning and then that would be that like so I hung out at Chabad even though I didn't really have anyone to talk to um but yeah it was something to do I guess um but then some people that went to Penn ended up coming to Chabad I guess just to hang out I don't know um or just to see what was going on so I had some so I ended up talking to a few people there were like a group of a few of us that just stayed and we chatted for a while actually. I think we were there till like midnight. Um, so yeah, that was kind of nice actually. Um, then everyone was leaving and it was drizzling, which was annoying. But I live like across the street, so I just kind of ran home really quickly. So that was nice. Um, yeah. Then today I slept a lot. I woke up at like 11. I wasn't feeling 100%, but I wasn't like hungry. I just didn't feel well. I don't think it had to do with the fast. Um, so I just stayed in bed. I read for a few hours. Then I ended up taking a little nap, even though I'd like just woken up. Then I read more. So I had a really lazy day, and then I ended up going to Chabad at like 6.30, so yeah. Um, then I dove in there for a little bit, um, and then the guys went upstairs to do Mariv, so everyone else kind of set up, because we davened downstairs for Yom Kippur, which I don't know if it's, I think they did that because they were expecting more people because the show upstairs is really tiny, so, yeah, but then when they went upstairs to Davin, so we had to, like, clear out the makeshift shoal and then turn it back into, like, the dining room that it normally is, so we set up the tables and chairs and stuff and put all the food out, which was really annoying because we were all just starving, we just had to, like, look at the food. And then all the guys came downstairs, and everyone was just staring at the food. <laughs> we're just like, we want to eat it now. Um, then we had to wait to do Havdalah and all that stuff. Um, 
But at that point, I wasn't even hungry anymore. Like, I'm like, I could fast for a few more hours, no big deal. But yeah, but I actually was hungry, so. Um, yeah, so then once we all sat down to eat, they were actually really smart and they didn't bring out the bagels right away because they didn't want us to like stuff our faces and then be really sick and like regret it. So like, I think, so we kind of just took it slow, which was nice. I think that was like the first time for any breakfast ever that I've actually paced myself because normally I just like stuff myself and then I want to be sick because I eat too much too quickly. Um, so that was good actually. I paced myself. I still ate a lot of food, but it was, I think I did it slow enough where it didn't make myself sick. I was like full, but I wasn't stuffed. So that was nice. Um... Yeah, and then came back here. <sighs> that beeping. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Um, yeah, so I came back here. Um, I've basically just been watching YouTube. Um, just catching back up on that. And then I think I have a couple TV shows that I missed, so I have to watch those. And then... Yeah, that's probably all I'll do for the rest of the night. It's already kind of late, so I'm probably going to go to sleep soon. Even though I haven't been awake that long. Um, but yeah. <sighs> yeah, just going to relax tomorrow. That'll be nice. Maybe, fingers crossed, the maintenance people come tomorrow, but I highly doubt that. Um, but hopefully Monday they'll come by and fix this thing because it's driving me nuts. I would fix it myself, but it's on the ceiling, which is really high. And I have absolutely no way of getting to it, so I can't even, like, try to fix it. But, yeah. Crazy. Um, yeah. I guess that's about it. <laughs>